Today I will show you how to make this rewind effect. You're trying to test me, dum -dum -as Yo, hello, it's Povika Smerting Visuals here, and let's begin. So the first thing I want to teach you is how to make it rewind. So what you can do is press Ctrl D on your clip to just duplicate your clip. And now you can right click on the clip with your mouse and go to time, time stretch. And let's say I made this to minus 100. So now this would completely make the clip go backwards. And if I was, let's say, go back to time and just made the time stretch to like minus 50, it will be cut up twice amount and also rewind it. So that kind of gives you the rewind effect. What I like to do for this clip is I think I like to go to time, time stretch. This very much depends on your beat. So for this beat, I remember it was like minus 30. I think it looked pretty good. What beat am I talking about? Now listen to this beat and you will understand why it works so well on this beat. As you can see, the beat kind of sounded like a rewind. So I think it looks pretty dope on beats like this. You can do it on wherever you want, but this is just my opinion. And now we can start to add some cool effects to this actually. So we can press Ctrl Alt Y and press Ctrl Shift D to cut it up just like to what amount you want. And I'll cut it up to the amount of my rewind. So this is the rewind. And let's start adding some effects. So the first effect I like to add here, posterize time, but I like to make this two times lower than my frame rate. So this is 24. So I'll make it to 12. Now the frame rate will drop two times. Another effect I like to add here is U slash saturation and add it on top of posterize time. And here I like to make the master saturation minus 40. And let's add wave warp. I like to make the wave type to smooth noise, wave height to one, wave width to 140. But now let's make the direction to zero as well. And now let's add add grain. First make viewing mode to final output and make the intensity to 1.5. I uh, you can really mess around here a lot. Uh, the more you increase this, the more grungy it will become. So uh, if you like grunge effects, then I really recommend to just increase it and increase it. And another effect I like to add here is unsharp mask. On the amount section, I like to make it to 270 and the radius to four. Now let's add fast box blur. I'll make the blur radius to two, iterations to one. And the last effect I like to add is motion tile. And here I like to make the output width to 70. Now you'll have these dark tiles, I don't know what to call them. And this should look really cool. If you don't think the posterized time works for you, just don't have it really. Maybe for this clip, it doesn't even need to be there, but I'm just gonna keep it here because I will save this as a preset now by pressing Control A and then go to animation, save animation preset. And here I like to call it rewind and then 12 FPS and then save it. And then whenever you want to add it, you will just press Control Y. I'm gonna check this for now and just go here, rewind 12 FPS and just add it. And if you don't like it, that it's 12 fps just go down here and turn it off turn off the poster time completely and this already looks really dope i think but i like to add some colors to this with textures so one really cool texture that i like is from my vhs pack it's the vhs overlay 55 and when you add it you need to press s and make the scale to 50 and also make the blending mode to color and now you'll instantly have this really cool color my vhs pack also has over 130 overlays that are all different so you can really mess around a lot with these and have way different colors and just way different effects in the intro of the video i even showed another overlay which was the vhs overlay 70 and if you guys want a five dollar discount for the pack the code will be povikas you don't need any plugins to download this pack and if you want a really great deal i have an ultimate damage bundle which includes the VHS pack and a damage three presets pack that comes in with over 30 plus presets that have that CRT plus VHS style, but they do require some plugins which are Omino, Signal, Sapphire, and Universe. And if you have those plugins, then you should probably check out the ultimate damage bundle to save $20 off. All right, let's get back to the tutorial. All right, so there's another thing I like to do and it's duplicate this adjustment layer and then make it go like to frames where it stops to rewind. And here I'll actually like to add invert, add it below post rest time. This won't always work kind of gives that bigger rewind look i don't know and that's basically it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please let us know i really recommend to check out our editing visuals website where we sell video editing assets and presets for video editors just like you have a fun and productive day see ya